What I'd like to show you in this video is how to create a chart with a given data table. So a review, there are a few sections up here at the top. They are data, charts, related content, because we have drill through turned on, and then design, where we see the final report as we're putting it together. So I don't need drill at this point. And I'm going to go right into the charts tab and we'll make a chart on this table of data. So here we're presented with the charts. We're prompted to start putting values into these empty fields here. And Yellowfin, by default, will just take a guess as to what kind of chart we're trying to create. So if, for example, we put some year in there indicating kind of a time series and then we drop our sales in, then it'll give us a basic time series line. And there are some advanced functions we get access to over here on the left. For example, if we want to put, say, our average in, then we'll immediately get a line showing the average. These functions over here are for times when you have to do another pass over the data in order to get some kind of a calculation. For example, we could get a trend or we could do an accumulation of the data where we show the step-by-step -step summation of all of the sales that we've had alongside the actual year-by-year -year sales activity. Now, sometimes we actually want to choose the kind of chart that we're going to bring in. So if, uh, for example, I go bring in demographic here and Yellowfin chooses a different type of chart for me where it gives me a multi-series chart where demographic is a series and then each section is the year and then we're showing sales by that amount. Maybe I don't want Yellowfin to guess and I actually want to get some kind of specific chart here then I can go into select chart type and I have this whole complement of charting capabilities over here that I can start to work from. Analytical type charts like the scatter plot and box and whisker, area bar and column, combination charts where I might be trying to put a few different visuals together in the same place, line charts like what we see here, maps, meters for KPI style, pi, and special purpose charts like the spider and the waterfall. So in this case, I'm going to grab a bar chart. And you'll notice Yellowfin prompts me on the left here for what values it needs in order to show that bar chart. And of course, I've already given it the basics of what it needs. If I didn't have year and year, and I was prompted for a horizontal axis, I could put demographic in. Or if I wanted to do something a little more interesting, I could do a stacked column, bring in year, then drop our sum of invoice amount in, and then put demographic in the color. Now we have all of our series in a single bar and each year shows the total sales for that time period. So this is kind of a basic illustration of how you can manipulate the type of chart you selected, get prompted for the values, and then put different values in to get your chart to show up. Now a lot of learning Yellowfin is learning the menus and so you see you can do different types of configurations here on the title and the legend and the series and axes the labels, you could put background images into these charts using this area configuration here. And then you can actually configure the specific data series. And so that would allow you to do things like set the thickness and the colors and the space between the series and that kind of thing. So you get a very specific representation of the style that you wanna have. In addition, Yellowfin actually allows you to create multiple charts on a single data table. So if we start putting these charts together, we can go back to the design before we do that and show that we are by default displayed our chart along with the table. We can turn the chart off or we can turn the table off in the configuration up here. But basically this is by default what Yellowfin is going to show us. Now let's add another visual in the chart section. This time we'll put in a pie chart. And we're prompted for the values required for that. And we'll just go ahead and do uh, demographic sales for our pie chart. And we can turn labels on and off and change the styling of the pie, but we'll accept the defaults for the moment. And then I want to go ahead and add in a KPI. So let's say we'll select one of the KPI meters. That's going to ask us for a measure. And then once we have it there, I'm going to go ahead and set up the KPI meter to manually put in our target value of a billion dollars. So now we see our target, we see the total sales over that time period, and I'm gonna go ahead and go back now to my design. It's changed so that we're getting a canvas, 
instead of getting the default table and chart representation. So now we can configure this pixel perfect report to show, for example, maybe our KPI on the top. We can adjust this. We can put in our pie next to our bar chart. And we can size these appropriately until we're happy with their style. And also we have the other elements of a canvas that Yellowfin allows. So we can put text into this for descriptions. We can put shapes in, different types of graphics. We can also put any images from our Yellowfin image manager in. So if we want to style this appropriately, maybe putting some values in here that uh, just kind of make it look a little more intentionally styled before we put it on the dashboard, we can put those images in here. Of course, we can do this on the canvas layout on the dashboard as well, but this is how you do it specifically in a report. And I'm just putting these in for example. Also, we can resize this and note that we get all these hints around the rectangle of our canvas showing us how big this would need to be if we were going to put it on a a dashboard, so we have the dashboard width showing up there, and then we have the storyboard width showing up there. So if we want to put this into a Yellowfin presentation, we don't want to make it any wider than that or it won't fit on the slide. If we want to put it on a dashboard, we won't want to make it any wider than that or it won't fit on a dashboard. Same thing with height. You can make these as tall as you want for a dashboard, but for storyboard, you're limited on that, and it actually shows you for both stories and for presentations which one you want. Use the storyboard setting for presentations and the story setting for Yellowfin Stories. Now, all we have to do is save this. And we have our Yellowfin report.